March 2020, we were about to start a documentary in Seattle, looking at homeless people in Seattle. And then pretty quickly we shifted um, because in March, everything was shut down in New York City and elsewhere. And our doc in Seattle became a look at what was happening in the pandemic and public health in Seattle. Mm -hmm. uh, we won an award for that the other day, actually. So that was uh, the doc outbreak that we did. And... Um, and it was a great doc, and it was very weird to be working on a doc in a pandemic, following people in public health who spend their whole day around people who are thinking that maybe they become infected with COVID, which we don't know what that is exactly at this moment in time. So that was very, very stressful uh, and very chaotic, but, um, but I think it was a very good doc. Uh, and then we continue to do what we always do with our, our um, you know, we, my production company. We changed the name to Sold Out O'Brien Productions because people, more people wanted my name in it. Um, which was fine. Uh, and so we continued uh, to do doc series. Uh, since then, we've been working on, actually in 2020, we were working on a, a series that just started airing for HBO called Black and Missing, which is a look at all the, the Black people, women specifically, who've gone missing, and the two women who run the Black and Missing Foundation, uh, and kind of why it is that the media and law enforcement doesn't pay as much attention to people of color who are missing. Um, and we continue to do all the projects that we've been doing. We're in the middle of a Rosa Parks documentary. We aired a documentary about a guy who broke out of prison multiple times. Um, so we've, it's been really fun. In that time, since I started my company in 2013, we've really put together a very good team and development, everybody working remotely. We upgraded our edit system so we can have people in Europe editing our docs. I mean, it's been kind of crazy to be paying rent on office space that no one is in. <laughs> it's painful. Um, but, you know, we just keep creating our projects. And uh, again, I think always looking to stories that are a little bit undercovered. And um, and I think that gives us a nice pathway because most of the people that we reach out to are very interested in sharing these stories. Yeah. Were there um, a lot of logistical challenges with shooting during the pandemic? I mean, you yeah. were in some of them, but some. We did know. a yeah, we did a series for BET called "Disrupt and Dismantle," and yeah, it was terrifying. Honestly, you get on a plane. I mean, remember this were the early days of the pandemic where no one really understood fully how COVID was transmitted. Right? Did you, was it something you touched? If you wiped down your seat on the airplane, would that be fine? Did it? You know, if you wore a mask, what kind of mask? You couldn't even get that kind of mask. I mean. Same questions we're having now, actually, in some ways. Um, so, yeah, it was just stressful. And especially since I've run the company, you know, it was stressful to be responsible for everybody and making decisions that you, I remember when we were shooting for BET, I was the correspondent on the series, but also running the company. And at the end of the night, you know, usually everybody gets together, you eat a meal, you know, and I was like, nope, no one can be near each other. I don't want anybody sitting down, <laughs> keep your mat, like everyone go back to your room in hotels that had no helpers, you know, they, they pretty much gotten rid of their housekeepers. So you, it was just weird. I mean, the whole thing was just completely weird. The logistics were super challenging all the time. Um, you constantly, we had paramedics traveling with us to swipe people, at con, you know, and it, I don't know, it was just, and, and in some ways, I think we've just become more routinized. I was shooting matter of fact out of my bedroom um, our ratings were great. My sons uh, were my photographers and they hated it, uh, hated, hated, hated. Um, but we did matter of fact out of my bedroom and, uh, and it was a lot shot on an iPhone. Wow. Was, uh, sometimes we do three camera shoots for HBO, uh, real sports on HBO, uh, three camera shoot, but on three iPhones. I mean, the quality is amazing. It is. You're shooting it yourself in your, in your dining room. Terrifying. So stressful. I was never so happy when that ended.